Okay, Bryn, we've got uh, our exhaust off. We've removed the uh, uh, fluids, the oil from the engine, yeah. and the transmission oil. And uh, now we're going to do uh, drive shafts. What's the procedure here? Well, what we've got to do is to allow this shaft to pass through this, this whole uh, steering joint here. We've got to loosen it all up and be able to swing it out of the way. Okay. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, stabilizer link joint out up here right behind the uh, strut tower. Okay. We're going to loosen behind here. We really can't see it, but there's a tie rod end here that we're going to take off. Also under here, there's a, uh, there's a joint that uh, attaches to the steering knuckle that we're going to take this off. This is a control the arm? control here? arm, yeah. Mm -hmm. I always call it the steering knuckle, but it, yeah, okay. they refer to it as a control arm. We're going to have to just uh, uh, take this little dimple out of this uh, collar nut here and take that off. With all that loose, then we should be able to uh, uh, swing pull this. It, pull it back through the wheel pull. and then out of the transmission. And then exactly. Okay, let's, uh, let's start with this collar nut, I guess. Great. All right, so our first procedure here then is to, we're going to have to uh, release this collar nut. There is a dimple or peening here. We're going to have to get that up out of the uh, out of that little groove so that we can go ahead and, uh, and undo that collar nut. Okay. And we're going to a couple of steps here to use a, use a small screwdriver. Just kind of work it up. What are we using here well, on this nut? We're going to use an inch and a quarter socket. Uh, we're going to need a half inch drive because, and we're also going to need a, a little helper here. We need a, this is torqued on there pretty good. Okay. And that makes it a lot easier. First step, our collar nut is removed. All right, let's uh, pull the nut off the, the, what do you call it, stabilizer link? Yeah, this is a stabilizer link. It's like a little uh, miniature tie rod in here that'll, that'll move around with the, with the strut. All right. We'll go ahead and take that off. What we're going to use is a 16 millimeter uh, socket, and there's a little 17 millimeter catch on, the, on that uh, end that we're going to have to hold down. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to find, uh, there's going to be a, uh, it'll rotate, it should rotate around to where you can finally catch it with that 17. There we go. And we'll go ahead and take that out of there. So one nut and it pops out. And that's it. And there we go. Okay. And put the uh, put the nuts back on so we can yeah, find them later. So we'll be able to find them. Yeah, let's open that up a little. All right, let's. Uh... You don't have to hold. Them. Ah, here to break it loose. There we go. All right, let's disconnect this uh, steering arm uh, knuckle. Green guys are all alike. All righty, Viola. Viola. Then we've got to knock that down, don't we? Yeah, we've got to knock that down. Oh well. And there we go. Remove this lower control arm. We're going to take this nut and this nut off that holds this bracket on the lower control arm. We'll take our, uh, what do we have here, 21? 21, 21 millimeter. Put that on there. Put that little cheater bar here. Put a little underneath. cheater bar on it. Get okay. her started. Got it. I'll take that one off. Uh, 
this on the other one. Yeah. A little cheater bar. Oh, got it. Now let's uh, take that nut off. There we go. We'll just pry that loose. And we're loose. All right, our uh, unit's really pretty loose here. Take a little hammer and tap in this uh, axle. And we're loose on this end. And here's our drive axle. We're gonna wanna pull that away from the transmission. Can you point to them? Sure, there's one upper one here. They're mm -hmm. both 13 millimeter above the shaft. Yeah. And one right here, another below the shaft. Okay, let's uh, let's take those off. Perfect. There, there you go. Can you see where it feeds through, Jack? I can. All right. going to be some time before we uh, put those drive shafts back. Meanwhile, I want the car to be able to roll around, so we're going to reassemble our wheel here. Let's uh, put our lower control arm back in position. Put the nuts back on there. And let's Stick this lower arm back in the hole. The uh, steering tie rod. Let's stick that nut back on there. So we're just snugging that up. To hold it in position. We're using a number uh, T30 Torx from the top. That wants us hold that lug in position while we snug this down. We're just gonna tighten them up tight enough so we can put wheels on this and roll it around. We'll torque them down after we uh, reassemble with the drive shaft. And we'll feed that back through the hole. Put a nut on this side. Sure, how you get that in there? Yeah. And that seems snug. Yeah, let's work those down when we reassemble on the other end of this project. So we can put our wheels back on, it looks like. And we have a little bit of a fabric liner here inside the uh, wheel well. We're gonna have to pull that to get access to some things to remove this front clip. There's uh, a series of these little plastic jobbers retainers and screw them a few turns and then pry the whole thing out. Yeah, we're 
remove the liner.